Okay, so right now I'm going to be doing a review here on the API Aqua Clear chemical for fish tanks. I did mention some other API chemical products in uh, my fish tank cleaning video, and if you want to check that out, the link will be right here. Right in this general area. I love this thing. If you don't know what uh, API is, because I keep talking about it, you're like, what that dude? You don't know what API is. It's just a fish tank brand, and uh, I find that a lot of their chemical products are really, really good, so I would definitely recommend API chemical products. Like, let's say you're looking for, like, an algae clearer upper. I'd go for API. That's the first thing that I reach for. Uh, it's just, I, I trust it. I don't know. I have a lot of API. I have API stress coat. It's like conditioning the water and all that. API aquarium salt. This is the 32 ounce. I use it for my uh, fish tank and I also use it for my hermit crab salt water and all that. I've also got some API stress zyme and that just keeps up like, here. That just kind of keeps up the bacteria in, that like grows in your tank. If you don't understand that cycle, I'm sure you could just look up um, nitrogen cycle. This is just the super ick cure. It makes my ick, if I have any ick in my tank, um, which I've had it a couple times, it makes it uh, go away like in a day or two. So it's pretty good. It works really well. API algae fix and this is fixes the algae. In it. And then the last thing is just a huge bottle of aqua clear because I love this stuff. So back to the aqua clear. As you can see here, this is just the API aqua clear like I was saying before. And I'm going to read a little bit of the back so you kind of know what it's supposed to do, and I'll tell you what it actually does do, so you can kind of, you know, get the, yeah. Okay, so, it says right here, okay, it says, on the front it says API Aquarium Pharmaceuticals, I'll write that here. And it says freshwater clarifier, and then it has another language, of course. It says clears cloudy aquarium water fast, and then it says to open with one hand, push red tab left with thumb while unscrewing cap with. What? I just opened it up like this. It sounds like I'm breaking it, but it's too complicated. But I don't think you're supposed to get this on your fingers either, so... It has like this special safety thing, so that's probably... means it's bad for your skin, but... Yep. Avoid contact with eyes. Uh, you just open it up like this and it has like a little... There we go. It has like a little dropper thing right here. Like that. I hope you guys can see that. Ooh. Just like that. I really like this stuff. It doesn't have an ex expiration date, but it doesn't expire till like 2015 in February, so that's a while. But uh, what you do is you you put two drops of this stuff if you're using the dropper. Um, two drops of it per gallon of water, and since mine's 8 gallons, um, I do 16 drops. So I would recommend this for smaller aquariums, because if you had like a 50 gallon aquarium, then using the dropper wouldn't be a very good idea, because you'd have to drop and do like, count like up to 100, so, you know, not a very good idea. I would recommend getting like a bigger thing like this. This is the 4 fluid ounces bottle. There's probably a bigger bottle. So what the stuff does is it, like let's say your water is all cloudy from having like old food in it and you haven't like cleaned it out or anything, well if you need to fix it up just really quick like for some reason, you uh, just put this stuff in, wait like a few hours, maybe even the next day, and then it's just crystal clear. Like it was really cloudy before, it, but then the next day it's just like stunning. <laughs> I think what it does is, you know how cloudiness is just like tiny little particles and all that? Well this stuff kind of like collects the 
cloudy particles and it like puts clumps them up into little things so that the filter can catch it can catch it. So um that's what clears it up I guess. But it's really, really awesome. And oh my gosh, if you have cloudy water problems, this is for you. There's only one thing, uh if you have the waterborne algae problem like I had last time I did my tank, that was really bad, by the way. It was like pea soup. But <laughs> oh if you have that problem, this won't no, it won't clear it up. We tried this at first, um, for the green water thing and it did not work. We didn't really understand very much. So, um that algae fix didn't think thing didn't even work for the waterborne algae either, so yeah. Water brown algae is really bad, <laughs> but this stuff doesn't work for that. It's kind of just cloudy water where it's just kind of like, you know, a little whitish, if you get what I mean. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like this video, you know, comment, rate, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Enjoy this video, comment, rate, and subscribe. You know, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. I think that's pretty awesome. Pointing to annotations and all that, you know. Point, 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 point. Anyways, so. You can never have enough Imperium salt, huh? What is it? The ni The nitrate cycle? Nitrate? Wait, no. Nitrate or nitrite cycle? I can't remember. No. Nitrogen cycle. Yeah. It says peel back here. I wonder what... Why does it say peel back? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, that's interesting. It's like caution and first aid and stuff. Wow. Um, yeah, apparently this is really bad for on your skin. Don't get it on your skin, people. Wow. Avoid contact with eyes. I mean, everything says that, you know. I mean, like, <laughs> I know this is sort of like unpet related, but I was like reading an eye makeup remover thing at Target, and it's on the back. <laughs> it's just really funny. The thing said on the back. <laughs> so, it said on the back, stay away from my eyes or something. It was just so funny, because it's supposed to be eye makeup remover, where you're like, touching your eye and all that with it, and it said like, babe, babe, don't get in your eyes and all that, and it's just like, oh. You're gonna kinda have to. <sighs>